guys and welcome back to our channel. Um, I just got off work a little bit ago, almost two hours ago, I guess, <laughs> not a little bit. But um, as you can see, I am here in the kitchen. And if you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a lot of stuff going on in here. I don't know if you guys can uh, tell what I'm doing. Maybe you can, maybe it's obvious. <laughs> So stick around and I'll show you guys what I got going on in the kitchen today. Whole bunch of stuff going on in here right now. As you can see, my kitchen looks pretty busy. I'm actually canning my uh, turkey stock. I've been cooking it for about two days now on the, no, uh, I started it Monday. I've been cooking it, I think, three days. And uh, I had to go get some jars at Walmart today. So I stopped on my way home and got me some. They did not have pint jars. All they literally had three cases of half pint jars and one case was open and one was taken out. So I know there's a shortage of jars. I'm sure people being quarantined are, you know, trying really hard to preserve food so they're canning. So I was thankful that I got these because I need these. I was like, man, I don't want my turkey stock to go to waste, you know, because it's been sitting there for three days. So I really want to can it. Um, so I'm like, well, I'm just gonna have to settle for for these and just have a crap load of them. So I have, for what I have on my turkey stock, I put 10 jars in there and they're sterilizing right now. I'm, the water's boiling and I got my lids and um, seals in the back there boiling and sterilizing as well. And then, um, like I said, my turkey stock I'm just bringing it to a boil again. So check it out, look what Wyatt's doing in here, guys. I'm just doing my stuff. Yeah, this is what he does. I hang out in the kitchen. Wyatt hangs out in here and plays his video games. I'm just playing Jill Mad City. Oh, Mad City. He's gonna help me cook his dinner tonight. Which, what are we, what are we cooking? We're having breakfast for dinner. <laughs> I gotta get this started before I can even remotely think about cooking some dinner. <laughs> so I'm gonna start ladling my soup through my strainer. I got a big big bowl right here. Just, you don't want any of the chunks of stuff in there. I mean, you could can it, I guess, with it, but I don't want the bones and stuff, so. So, in case you guys are wondering, I how you make uh, turkey stock if you've never done it. Like I, um, I chopped up some vegetables. Like there's some carrots in here, and I actually put like the peels and stuff in here. But I put like carrots. Like here's a chunk of carrot there, and there's carrot peels in there. And I put like onions, celery. There's some celery in here. Just some vegetables to just kind of cook down with the uh, turkey, and I just put the whole turkey carcass from thank uh, yeah Thanksgiving, and see like there's some peppercorns in there from the brine from the turkey, you know, and all that meat just you know, and all the bones just totally cooked down. So 
part, I need my ladle, my funnel, and my little measuring thing um, for um, canning broth. I looked it up. You need one inch of uh, clearance of headspace. So that means you got to fill up your your jar just enough so there's one inch of like you know nothingness. Like there's nothing there. One inch. It's a lot. Let me see. And this thing. I don't know if you can see the numbers on there, but there's some numbers there. It's got, you know, an inch, quarter inch, half, and a quarter, oh, three quarters, sorry, and then a quarter. So right up to that little, the very bottom of that in there, that's how much head space I need is an inch, which is a lot. I'm, it's been, a, I haven't seen it like that in a while, so. I guess maybe up to the top of this funnel thing is right. We'll find out, let's see. See where it's at? We'll see. Oh, <laughs> nope. Just a little bit more. <laughs> That's okay. It's bacon cooked. Okay, Wyatt, come on in. He wants to help make his breakfast. Uh, his breakfast. He's gonna make breakfast. Mommy. He wants to come help make his his dinner. He wants to make his eggs and his toast. Yes, I actually can. Okay, well, what's the first thing we need to do before? Wash. Gotta wash our I hands. Got hands. Eat. Two, three. The little oak. You got no shell in there. Good job. Okay, let me just show you. Okay. See how? Oh. What kind of? Um, what kind of? What are you gonna want on your toast? You gonna want peanut butter or jelly? Um. Jelly. What kind of jelly? It's my favorite. What kind of jelly? Um, strawberry. Mm, strawberry. Got your rubber scraper. Okay, careful. Not so fast. There you go. Good job. It's a lot of butter. Well, smearing around there. <laughs> Look how many eggs this kid got on his plate. Look at all these that's, eggs. That's from three eggs. That's three eggs you got. And you got toast and bacon. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this kid loves breakfast. Mm -hmm. Loves breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I do have jams in here that I have made. I have um, this, this jam right here. This is a um, bourbon peach. I have actually personally never tried it yet. Do you want to try this bourbon peach? I'll try it. Okay, Wyatt well, wants to try it. And then I have this one here. This is strawberry. Mmm. <laughs> All right, now I gotta get to the canning and then I'm gonna eat too, as soon as I get this going. So I have 16 jars of my broth right here and I still have this big bowl left. So one of the most important parts, I think, actually when making when you're canning stuff is always wipe your rims before you put your lids on, always. Because if you don't, it could cause some problems. It messes with the seal. So I just got a wet paper towel and I just take my jar and just run it across. Just wipe off whatever stuff is on the, the rim. Try not to touch the rim with your bare hands. Wiped all my rims 
comes off. I got my pot here with my lids and my my seals and my lids. So I got my little magnetic thing because obviously you do not want to reach your hands in there and touch those because they will be very hot. And then we want to put the lids on. You want to make sure they're like finger tight. Not super tight, just finger tight. pressure cooker, a pressure canner. Um, I got it, I dumped some water out because it was too high from when I was disinfecting the jar, so I have it filled up to about here. There's a little line in there. And then I got my little grabber thing and I'm just gonna drop these in here nice and neat. So I put all the jars in. I did not have enough room for four. So I'm gonna have to do another round. Be all right. I got them at least jarred for now. So this is the most, I think, time consuming part. I mean, any time. So I got my pressure cooker lid. So you got your topper thing here. This will pop up when it's, in, when it's sealed. And then this is your steam vent. And then it starts creating steam and pressure in there. Once the steam starts coming out, you're gonna put your weights on top. So I'll show you guys how that works. So it's got little arrows here to show you kinda where it goes. You're gonna wanna start it on like a medium high heat to get it the pressure building in there. And it was already kinda warm before I started, so it shouldn't take too long to start building the pressure in there. Oh, there it goes. All right. So I got this weight. For broth, it says it's um, 10 pounds, which is two weights. This is, one is five, this is 10. There's another one that makes it 15. So I got a pretty good, you gotta wait till this is, the steam coming out of it looks good. You want a good consistent stream of steam coming out. Like that, like, I don't know, if, I don't know if the camera's doing it any good. So you throw the weight on. And now we're just gonna wait for this thing to start rocking. It's gonna take a little bit, but when it starts getting that nice little rock, like this, you'll see. It's a rockin'. That's a good rock right there. So I'm gonna turn this down to like a medium low. And it says for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna flip that off and I'm gonna move it over. Gonna wait for that to cool off. Might take a little bit, but I'm gonna go chill. It's right here. past eight o'clock, it's 8.10. I mean, I've been in the kitchen, so it took about two hours to do that. Mind you, I like I said before, I did cook white dinner and all that stuff, so I mean, two hours really isn't that bad. I'm tired. Good morning, Jane. Check it out. Here it is. They're all sealed. Very proud of myself for doing that last night. And that's about it. I got all my jars canned. I still have those four that I need to can, so maybe I'll do that today when I get home. <clears throat> Excuse me, from work. But I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee this morning and get in, kind of wake up a little bit. I'm gonna go to work here real soon. About a half an hour, so I got a little bit of time to kill. Um, 
So you guys have yourself a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.